also, I like to say, um, I like to say, what's up, Tom, um, to Caleb. Caleb, what's up, man? Hey, hey what's <laughs> going on, bro? How you doing, bro? Hey, hello. Hey, Donna. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm here on Chicken with Don and Ro. Uh, That's awesome. I like that. See, I like that. You know, what you know what? You know what? You're the first. Look, you're the first guest that we had who's actually given us a drop without us asking for a drop. We love that right there. Oh, uh, okay. We love that. Yeah, you All see, right. God, God, God done groomed this man right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God is good. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So what's going on? What's going on, man? You, you giving you, um, you shouting at us from where you at right now? You in um New York, you in um New Jersey? Where well, you at? As as of now I'm on yeah, I'm in New York, I'm in Long Island. Mhm. Yep. Long Island. Long Island <laughs> in the house. Yeah, we were just talking about we were just talking about Strong Island and anything and um you know, how great it was to grow up in Long Island. We were just talking about that. Yeah. Wow, memories, memories. Mm-hmm. Uh um I'm about to bring Kayla real back. Remember okay. <laughs> Be careful now. Be careful now. <laughs> okay. Me um Caleb, do you remember the group that that we had together when we started singing? Oh my god. <laughs> the name of the yeah, group? <laughs> yeah, the name of the Okay, okay. This is how it all started. Donna really set this whole thing up because she introduced me to a guy by the name of T S. Thornton Walker. Mm-hmm. And we got uh, Nicole, and we called ourselves Fusia. Okay. <laughs> Fusia. Isn't that like a bright red or something like that? Mm-hmm. It's like a pink. Oh, yeah, it's a nice little, yeah, nice little shade of pink. Good in the 80s. Come on and the now. girls came up. Listen, Donna and Nicole came up with that name. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, but we had fun. We and we wrote a song back in the day. It's called "You Are the One," and that Whoa. song. Was Hold hot. on now. Yeah. Y'all got to sing that. Y'all going Donna, Donna, <gasps> oh, Donna. No, no, That's no, no. All right, you know what? Let me let me sing I'm it. Let me sure sing it. It goes a little something like okay. this. Okay. Oh, I hope I have my voice. <clears throat> it goes like. <laughs> it goes. You are the one that I love to. You are the key to make me oh You are the sea. Oh, 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 you are the one in my life. Something like that. Hey. Oh, I, my yeah, God. Donna, 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 you remember that. Donna, you remember. Yes. You got to do it. Donna got to do it. <laughs> Well, listen, I can't forget. I can't forget music, man. I love music, man. Wow, Donna. Uh, we got it. I, I, I'm, oh I'm so mad. You wasn't out back then. We were like so 14. I'm sorry. I think I was 14, 13 years old at the time. Yeah, we were young bucks, baby. We were young dumb. bucks. <laughs> Wow. So, hey, man, so how did you get in? So I can't even say how did you get into singing because I know Donna did it. It's Donna's fault. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> how, how long have you been singing gospel music, though? Well, you know what? I just recently started singing gospel music. You can kind of say um, four years now mm-hmm. because my first album came out in 2001, and okay. I'm right now finishing up on my second album, which should nice. be um, coming out soon, God willing. And uh yeah, about four years. Wow. And um what was the name of your first album? Finally Here. Finally and I here. called it Finally Here because um listen, I've been trying to get an album even when I was doing R and B albums, trying to working with everybody, trying to get make that happen and it just didn't happen until I started singing gospel, then all of a sudden everything just came lined up. Boom. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah. Okay, I gotta call this album Finally Here because I finally made it. I got an <laughs> album. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the name of this album coming up? This one is called Calling on Love. Calling on Love. I like that. Which God is love, so call on him. Definitely. Oh, call, wow. Call. Definitely. Wow. So, you know, so, you know I love that 
I oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just mm-hmm. I have to give a shout out to his his message to you because that's the song that I love the most. That's the one that Kayla sent to me, and I saw the video on BET, and man, I was like, and you know, it's it's like the song. Okay, the song comes on at the perfect time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It comes on at the perfect time. Let's just say, Kayla, it's a blessing. I like that song. Thank you. Well, you know what? That was God. That was God telling you that he loves you, Donna. You know, and he's oh, there for you. you're so you sweet. You're you so, scrumptious. You, you said it came on time. So, you know, God God is a, he's an on-time God. He's going oh. to let you know that he loves you. And he's definitely wow. going to show it to you, and he's definitely going to reveal it as well. Oh, so, thank you, Kayla. So, so what made you what made you go from R and B to to gospel music? What what was the what was the the what woke you up out of your sleep? So to well, speak. okay. Well, I, I wouldn't say uh, I, I've been up the whole time. Uh, mm-hmm. First and foremost, I still love R and B music. What happened? The, the the change basically came about. I just couldn't write any more R and B songs. People will send me um, send me tracks, and I'll sit down and formulate something, or come up with an idea, or look at somebody's situation, and try to form a song. I just couldn't do it. But for some reason, God kept planting something in my brain to talk about Him mm-hmm. and His love for the world. And I just been writing, and I and that's what made me. And then um, my prayer mom called me the other day, which was you know back in the days. You know, she passed away two months ago. God, you know, rest in peace. Um, She told me that God's saying it's time for you now to sing for him. And I was like, Mm -hmm. oh, what? What? She was like, yeah, it's time for you to sing. And I was like, but I don't think I'm there yet. Just trust me. When God sets everything up, he's going to set it up and it's going to work. So I was like, okay. So everything that I was doing R&B in the R&B world was not working. Right. All of a sudden, everything just started. I was like, What? And I was like, okay, so you're telling me I'm with a group called, at the time, uh, I was with a group called Power Fam. And mm-hmm. we had major deals overseas. And I'm like, you're going to, what, I should let that go to, you know, to do something? I was like, okay, you know. And I was still in the beginning stage of, you know, knowing God and everything, but I was still allowing the world to enter in. So I was mm-hmm. scared, and I was like, okay. But my prayer mom is telling me that God said, to move to sing to him. You know, my voice is for him. So I'm like, okay. So I diligently started to do that. And then all of a sudden, doors just started opening. I was like, oh, my God. I'm looking, I'm like, what? What? Um, wow. What? All I got to do is just do this, and this happens? What? Mm-hmm. I was just excited. So, you know, so many things. I'm, you know, I'm just excited. You know, I'm just excited That's what God is doing. That's what's up. That's what's up. And what? And are you signed to? Are you um, putting your music out independently, or are you doing it um, through a major or through a, an independent label? I'm doing it through. Um, well, to be honest with you, it's. Um, I'm doing everything on my own, but I have a friend who mm-hmm. um, started up his own record label, so I'm working mm-hmm. with him, and he's helping me out. He's my producer. He 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 produced all the songs on my last album and the new one. Okay. So I'm working I mean, you, with him. Yeah. Yeah, once you find a sound, you got to stick with it. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Once you find a sound, you got to stick with it. You um, Do you want to mention a label, or are you rather not? No, no, no. The label is called True Haven Music. True Haven Music. And the CEO, his name is um Damon Anthony Reed. He's also my producer. Okay. See? You gotta and keep Donna, his... he also wrote the song, His Message to You. He's also the writer of that song. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. wow. Well, tell them kudos from me because I love that song. <laughs> no problem, no problem. <laughs> That's what's up. Well, I'm. You know what? We're gonna. Um, I'm gonna play a song, and uh, we're gonna come okay. right back and anything. But uh, listen, I'm just gonna let it be known now, um, so that you can be mad at Donna. Um, <laughs> I'm not. You know what? I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play the song, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna let Donna apologize to you. All right, so oh, she can explain something. She's she gonna apologize to me. I don't write on the air in front of everybody. Okay, um, in front of in front of all of these people who listen to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, in the meantime, this is kicking it with Donna and Ro. Um, I'm gonna play a song by Janae Aiko, featuring Kendrick Lamar. And anything, I think there's only one curse in this, so please don't get mad at me and anything, Mr. Johnson. 
Um, of course, stay ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, this he said, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> like that? Like that? <laughs> Take me. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back at uh, thebigchat.com. That's with two Gs. Still magonline.com. All right, Rusty Radio. Kick me down and roll. We'll be right back. That was Janae. Janae Aiko. Aiko, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar got a little potty mouth on that song, huh? You need to watch mm-hmm. his mouth. Yeah, watch mm-hmm. his mouth. <laughs> yeah, listen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, watch mm-hmm. great song, but you know, uh-huh. yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, potty mouth. Not what Mr. Cal, not what Mr. Johnson is on his dog online. And they think, well, that's this man in here talking about gospel music, and y'all going to put that the boy cursing. Hey, think you crazy? Hey, um... Hey, hey I, know I, I know y'all watched the Billboard Awards last night. We seen Michael Jackson on the stage. Um, um, so, did my, was Michael Jackson one of your um, influences, um, Caleb? Uh, yeah, he was one of them. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> that was an amazing show, how they set all that up. It was like Michael being alive again. It was, it was, woof. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, wild. It's the craziest thing to actually put a hologram on a stage or whatever. Um, Absolutely. Who, who Guys, don't was... ruin it for me because I didn't have a chance to see it. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, what? well, don't worry about it. Somebody's <laughs> gonna somebody's gonna post it up on YouTube. You you'll get to see I'm it. I'm sure they will. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> who who were your um who were some of your other influences coming up? Well, um, Luther Vandross, Freddie Jackson, Jeffrey Osborne, Olita Adams. Uh, oh, wow. Mary J. Blige with mm-hmm. Houston, you know. Wow, Olita Adams, man, that wow. that's something right there. When you said that, I knew you really sing now. Now you don't, I, you ain't playing. <laughs> well, You're not playing. Out. Mm-hmm. Check this out. Go to my YouTube site, which is um, Caleb, uh, which is YouTube.com, Rod with and the number nine. Mm-hmm. You see me singing one of her one of her songs. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Hi. Ooh, and that's ride yeah. with ride with nine. Yeah, ride with and the number nine. It's yeah, ride and the word with together and the number nine. Okay, definitely on that. Yeah, we got to see this because uh, listen, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I listened to that song. Um, I was on a plane back in the days. I think it was like ninety, and um, they they used to have you get the earphone. I don't know what they do on the planes right now. You get the earphones and um, you plug them in and uh, and the the armrest. And you listen to music or whatever. And um, I'm listening to Nathan, and she sing, Get Here? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, blew my mind. And I always loved that from that day on. Loved well, that let lady. me tell you, man, it, it's so funny how Alita Adams is one of your favorite singers because Alita Adams kind of introduced me into the business because I needed a song to sing that can really represent my vocals. And wow. at that time, there was no song out there that really represented my vocals. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I could sing a Luther song, but I want something powerful. I really didn't want to do gospel. I wanted to do something else. So there was this song by Alita Adams. And when I heard that song, I was like, oh, my God. I, could, I said, oh, wow, she's in my range. The song is powerful. It's very uplifting. That's mm-hmm. me. And that song right there helped me to get a lot of jobs. In wow. The wow. And that was the same song, Get Here? Get Here. See? Listen, yeah, man. That's a listen. Beautiful song right there. Don, listen, mm-hmm. that song right there was it, man. Listen, and you know what? We're gonna let Donna apologize first, and then I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say after that. So, Donna, apologize first. You go ahead. You go right ahead. All right, Mr. Rose. Uh-huh. <laughs> Stop pushing me. <laughs> listen, Caleb. We're gonna do something really fantastic for you. Mm-hmm. We are going to go ahead and we're gonna play your music what? next week. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna play it. We're gonna play it next week. Oh, you're gonna play it next some, week. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, I mm-hmm. ran into some problems. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys, because I know y'all was waiting to listen to his music. I've been Ooh, pumping it up. And if, I know. I know. So I'm no, apologizing to you. I'm apologizing <laughs> to the 50 people who are texting me right now. Like, no, you didn't. And they're mm-hmm. all saying, no, you didn't. So I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Yes, I did. I apologize. It's, it's my all good, fault. Donna. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I like that. I like, I like public apologies and anything. But you know what else I like in public? What I, what I like more than public apologies, I like when we could get Mr. Caleb to sing the song 
live for us right here on the radio. That's what I like. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, listen. I heard you. I heard you just sing some of that future, some of that future song. Right, right, song. right. All right. So, so you know what? Um. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna sing a little bit of that Olita Adams song. Is that all right? Yeah, that's that's what I want. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Yes. Bear with me, guys. <clears throat> You can reach me by railway. You can reach me by trailway. You can reach me on an airplane. You can reach me with your mind. You can reach me by caravan. Oh, yes. Cross the desert like an airman. I don't care how you get here. Get here if you can. There are hills and mountains between us. Are we starting to get over? If I had my way. Sure you would be healthy, cause I need you closer. You can win surfing to my life. Pick me up on a carpet ride. You can make it in a big boom, but you gotta make it soon. Cause I don't care how you get here. Get here. If you can. Something like that. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's (laughs) fucking. Now, I didn't do any vocal warm up, so you know what I'm saying? You're getting that raw. Hey, You're I'm wondering raw. I'm wondering what you do with all seven of those other people who was in there singing with you just now. <laughs> 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 I heard about seven different voices on the seven range. Like, where you go with that thing, man? How you just come all the way up and come all the way back down? You don't just be doing that. When you singing in here with us, man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you better stop, stop playing so you much, You know what? Man. <laughs> it's so funny. Can I give a shout-out? A friend of mine by the name of Wendy Fowler. Definitely. She just definitely. texted me and said, great job. Wendy, thank you. Definitely. Thanks, Wendy, for listening to me, man. We, we hey, appreciate Wendy. That. Yeah, <laughs> Wendy's listening. Wendy's listening. <laughs> oh, man, that boy sings. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him longer than me, and I'm mad about that because you know I would have been like, I'd probably would have been going by your house and like, yo, can you sing something for me, real quick? Just sing something. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to work. I'm on my way to school. Sing something real quick. I hear you, bro. I hear you. I hear you. That's crazy, man. Uh, hey, um, Caleb also has Christmas music out there too. So for the holidays, if you need some oh, yeah. Christmas music, hey. I got we that too. We actually played that at our Christmas party this year, by the way. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, so you got a Christmas CD? You got a Christmas well, CD? The, yeah. Well, the record label that I'm a part of have a, a compilation Christmas album, and I performed a couple of songs on that Christmas okay. album. Oh man, that's what's up. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Huh? You know them Christmas joints? They be timeless because they'll play it like every year. Every year you hear Mariah Carey singing, you know, um, the Christmas songs again. I'm like, how Mariah yep. do that again? But it's the same song. Yep. Like, you know, you know, I like that, man. I like that. I mean, so um, who who would you like to who have you worked with in anything so far as like uh, as far as like um, either singers or producers that you know, um, and who would you who would you like to work with in the future? Okay, uh, I worked with a, uh, a reggae producer by the name of Puba Nasty. Uh, he worked with everybody in the um, reggae field uh, mm-hmm. as well. I also yeah. was a part of the okay. cast of Mama, I Want to Sing by Higginson and, and her husband, Ken. I was with mm-hmm. him for five years. I traveled all over the world. Uh, I've done some session work 
for certain people, but basically local people. I'm, mm-hmm. Who would I love to work with? Mm-hmm. Anybody that wants to work with me. <laughs> so, but but it, it gotta be it gotta be somebody that you say like you know what? If I was to get on a, a, a track with them. With this person right here, and we could just go back to back and anything with our voices, we would really, you you know, you can like kind of, you can move some mountains. I hear you. Ro, I used to think that back in the days, but not mm-hmm. anymore now. I'm I'm mm-hmm. like, whatever God placed in my life will be the mm-hmm. right thing for me. So okay. whoever, whoever wants to work with me, because this industry now is very crazy now, and it's, mm-hmm. you know, and everybody's fickle. So, you know. And I have my own flow. I have my own style. I'm not trying to cater to nobody else. So if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. It's all good. Mm-hmm. But whoever wants to work with me, I'm I'm, I'm down for it. Cool, cool. Yep, so hey, I'll you, hear you, it here. Definitely. Hey, so you you have kids, wife, kids, anything? No, unfortunately, um, I have no kids. Uh, I just got over a relationship a while ago, so I'm single. Okay. Whoa. See. Now listen to that. Everybody, he's single too. And he could sing. Listen, listen. I wish my father could sing. I wish my father could sing. You know, so if I had like, if you had kids, I was gonna ask you, do you like make oatmeal in the morning for them and like, you know, saying sing at the same time? That's like so. That would be so dope. That would be so dope, man. If my father, I hear you. you. Yeah, my father could whistle. I can just picture that right now. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah, like, wolf, my, but you know what? It's so funny, though. I do that. Like, um, if I'm hanging out with my friends, I'll say, hello, everyone. This is Caleb Johnson. Sit down <laughs> and eat your food and have some fun. Yeah. See, that's how you got to do it. See, that's fun right there. You know, my father my father whistled when we were growing up, and he could whistle anything. My father whistled, like, the whole quiet storm. He'll whistle, whistle the whole playlist in the morning and everything before school. He whistled everything. Yeah, you know, so that's all we got. We got oatmeal and a whistle. You know? Wow. Well, yo, that's, listen, at least you got that, right? Yeah, 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 we got that. We definitely got oatmeal and a whistle. And everything. Oh, man. Donna, um, I know you got a bunch of questions. I'm just I'm just running my mouth, Donna. I'm asking all types of questions and everything. I done took over. Baby. I'm sorry, Donna. I always do that. <laughs> No, you're cool. You're cool. Hey, I have to ask you, Caleb. I know that we grew up together and everything, but if you can, like, there's there's folks out there that everybody's struggle is a little bit different, and everybody's path is a little bit, you know, it goes either one way or the other. What advice can you give to all the folks that are tuning in right now, and they're like, you know, hey, I would like to be in a position as Caleb's. What advice can you give to the folks out there? I'm glad you said that. Um, Mm -hmm. Basically, first and foremost, you have to love it. You have to love it. And you have to understand there's going to be trials and tribulations that comes with it. That's the only thing I can say. You have to love it and just go Mm -hmm. after it. Uh, uh, Study. Study the craft practice on that craft, work with different people, you know, network, get out there, you know, do like what I'm doing, you know, uh, meet meet with people, network, get CDs done, get pictures, uh, work on your brand, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Mm -hmm. Just just continue to, you have to love it, because there's Mm -hmm. some times when things are just not happening. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my God, what's going on? But you still got to love it. You know, if you walk into a room with two people, you got to make sure you look at those two people as 2,000 people and sing your behind off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? you got you, you got to be able you got to be able to uh, send your music into um, a radio station, uh, um, and uh, and hopefully and hopefully one of the uh, one of the DJs or one of the hosts and anything forget to load your music up and anything so you can have to sing it live. <laughs> And then people can hear you. People can hear you sing live. Yeah, people can. (laughs) Anyway, people people can hear you sing live. Yeah, people can hear you sing live, and then they like, "Yo, he's the real deal." Because I'm, I'm being straight up. Caleb Johnson is the real deal. He can really sing. I will never go down saying like, "Hey, that's studio work." I won't say that. I'm straight. I'm just gonna say, "Hey, listen. You say Caleb can't sing and anything, man. Listen, I might do something to you." 
Thank Real. you. God bless the Lord, my brother. You know, Kat, I've got another question for you. What was it like that very first time you got up on the stage? I always ask folks that because I remember when the first time I got up on the stage, and I felt like I was going to pass out my head. I mean, literally, I could feel the sweat just, oh, like, oh. dripping down to the ground, and I could hear a plop. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. I want to know, what did you get up on the stage to do, Miss Donna? You ain't talking about future days. I want to know. We're talking about Caleb. We no, just asked Caleb you, a question. But, wait, Miss Donna, Donna, you said that the first time you got up on the stage. So tell me about, let's t- tell us about that before Mr. Caleb Johnson answered this question. We want to know. What oh did you my get? gosh. I thought this was... The Donna and Roe asking Caleb questions. Not come on, y'all. But this thing go in the direction. There was point. there was a um a little jazz spot in um called the Inner Circle, which okay. is um which is out in um, Long Island, uh-huh. and um I wasn't supposed to go there to sing. I was actually <laughs> supposed to go there to support a friend of mine who played um the drums. Mm-hmm. And so the young lady that was supposed to sing, she was doing her diva moment situation. And she was like, you know, the water's too warm, the room, I don't have my, you know, dressing room, can't do this, can't work like this, I'm out of here. So um, my friend who played the drums, um, his name was Chris Day, and he was like, well, hey, won't you get up there and sing something? And at the time... Um, the only song I I could memorize was the Whitney Houston song. So I got up in there, I sang that, and I was nervous. And I was like, oh, my God. Because only, you know, I sang before, and I could sing with a group of people. I could sing, you know, I could sing in the bathroom to myself, but getting up on the stage and singing in front of all these people, that's like a hot mess for me, you know. And I got up there, and I was okay. I was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Folks love them. <laughs> and so, but it was scary, and that's why I ask people all the time, "What was it like?" And that was like to me, that wasn't the first time I got up on the stage, but that was kind of in a sense the focus was on me and not a group, not me introducing a group, but it was on me. Caleb, how did you feel about that? Oh wow, uh, you're going way back. <clears throat> <laughs> you know what? So I wasn't slick. nervous. To be honest with you, I wasn't nervous. <laughs> yeah, she flipped it. Yeah, she did a good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she flipped it. Uh, I wasn't nervous at all. Uh-huh. I was not nervous at all. Uh, I think the first song I had to sing in front of a whole bunch of people was a song from The Wiz called If You Believe. Oh, and when they said Caleb yeah. Johnson, so I got up on stage and I did my thing. I don't know, man. That stage is that stage is scary, man. That stage is scary. Don, I know what you're it talking is. about. Yeah, that thing you is know scary. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, it is. You know, well, I've been doing it for a long time now. I'm not scared. When I, for some reason, I get scared after don't be scared. I perform on stage. After That's the funniest part. After, after I perform on stage, yeah. After I perform on stage, I get fear, and I'm like, why wow. am I fearful? Wow. I'm bugging out. I, I'm I like, want that. I want that part right there. Cause before, <laughs> boy, my, my boy, I be sweating. It looked like I just jumped out the shower. People, people, like, are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my. Sure. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I put on a. Uh, it was the end of 2012. I put on a stage play. Um, I co-wrote and and co-produced a uh, stage play, uh, for my first book for my autobiography. Let me tell you something. I didn't even oh, okay. perform in a, I didn't even perform in a play and anything. I, it was called the Solitary Pen. I sat back and I watched my life literally flash between my b- before my eyes on a stage, and I wasn't in a play or nothing. I was able to just watch it, and I was nervous during that time. And then at the end of it, they called yeah. me up and they wanted me to say something to everybody, whatever like that. And I was scared then, so I can only imagine what it's like to sing, you know, to, you know, to perform or whatever like that. That's crazy. I'm not doing that. I hear you, I hear you. Said, but singing for me is no problem. <laughs> singing for me is no problem. Just, you know, saying a speech or something, I may be a little scared or timid. But I'm glad you talked about a book because um, last year I just did um, I just did a film, a short film from an author by the name of Michelle Scott. 
she wrote a mm-hmm. book called The Sister's Response, and she turns it into a movie. Mm-hmm. And I'm playing Jesus in this movie, in this short wow. film that she's doing. Yes. And oh, we, wow. just had a, we just had a, a, a film premiere last month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so good luck with your book, bro. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. What's the name of that movie, though? What's the name of that movie again? It's called The Sister's, the Sister's Response. The okay. Sister's Response. Okay. S i s t a h. Sister. Yes, you know, you know, spell, you know. I don't know what yeah. You know. And I know what you mean. I know. It's sister, sister. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I'm watching Love and Hip Hop right now. I know what you mean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, incredible. Anything that's what's up, but yeah, um, hey, I appreciate the um, you know, the love one, my, my book. That was my first uh, book, my autobiography. Um, it came out, um, when did it come out? Came out twice. Came out in two thousand nine, oh, cool. and then I re- revised it and added another chapter after the, the uh, stage play came out, and I put it out again in two thousand twelve. And um, oh, 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 we got a, yeah, we had a nice response and everything. It's called um, Myths, Memoirs, and Confessions of an Ex Felon. And uh, the state play was called the Solitary Pen. Um, you see all That's types of stuff on, on, on YouTube and all types of stuff. Uh, uh, all online. You type in the title, you'll see it everywhere. It's, yeah. Um, but yeah, this ain't about me. Later for me, I'm nobody. We're talking about you. <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> you are somebody. No, that, my brother. that book is hot, bro. I picked it up and I read it within that day. So that book is hot. So whoever hasn't had a chance to read it, get out, go out there and go get it and read it. It's, it's very intriguing. It's interesting. It's um, It makes you want to turn the page. So. Wow. Amen <laughs> on that. Amen on that, my brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, oh, man, we have to end the show already. I don't like this. Um, <laughs> oh, it's so, over? Yeah, we have, oh! You know what I mean? That's crazy. I hate but goodbye. Yo, yo, check this out, though. Check this out. Mm-hmm. It won't be over because I'll be back next Monday. You'll be hearing my music. That's what. There you oh, go. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and we're gonna and we're gonna and we're gonna post up your videos and everything on the Kicking It with Don and Roe Facebook page and everything at right after this show is over. We're putting everything up there. We flooding up. Uh, we flooding, right now. We, Thanks, we about to Thanks flood the net. Yeah, Thanks we about to flood. Well, yeah. then, you know what? Let me well then let me say this quick. Uh, those who want to hear more of my music, they can go to um, Reverb Nation at Caleb Johnson Sings. Mm-hmm. Like Caleb Johnson Sings. Don't you forget that. At Reverb Nation. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Hey, I'm man. Give um, a shout out. I'm sorry. No, no go ahead. Go ahead. Shout out if, if possible. Um, I want to give a shout out to my producer, my uh, my partner in crime in this music business. I wouldn't say crime, you know, partner in, 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 in goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, my boy, Damon Anthony Reed, and True Haven Music. Thank you. That's what's up. That's what's up. We got to give him my give him a round of applause. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um. Hey, how and and how can people how can people find you online? Like uh, aside from just your music, can they follow you on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram? Yeah, they, they can go to yeah, they can go to um, uh, Caleb Johnson. Well, you know, there's a Caleb Johnson on American Idol. Oh yeah. So, yeah. So just be careful, people. When you type in my name, type in Christian artist Caleb Johnson, because if you type in Caleb Johnson, that that rock singer, which he's a phenomenal vocalist and continue success on your part, uh, his, his stuff will come up. Yeah. Okay, so, so Christian singer. Like <laughs> so it's a Christian <laughs> singer. <laughs> yeah, so make sure it's a Christian artist or Christian singer. Right, Caleb Johnson. Okay, okay. definitely. Hey, man, um, hey, we appreciate you um, stopping in with us and talking with us. It was more like a conversation than it was an interview, which is always the best oh, one. Dear. Yeah. <laughs> we had a ball. <laughs> can I say one? Can I say? Can I say one more thing? I want to give a Go shout ahead. out to. I want to give a shout out to my home girl, Marquetta Lincoln. Yo, thank you for that. Thank you for the awesome plug. Love you, girl. That's what's up. That's what's up. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Marquetta Jenkins. Marquetta Jenkins. We, we give no, no, no shout out. Jenkins. Marquetta Lincoln. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mar- oh, I don't even know who Marquetta Jenkins, Jenkins is. No, but if she listens, she listens to Lincoln. My whole girl, that's my holy. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Hey man, appreciate it, Nathan. Thanks for stopping by, Nathan. Um, thanks for you know hanging out with us on the Kicking with Don and Rose show, courtesy of the Big Chat dot com. That's with two G's. Still mag online dot com. 
Rust Still Radio, Compliments of Still Magazine. And-